It's time for our monthly meetup looking through the PS Plus offerings for October 2018. This month we have 7 games to get our teeth into, with 6 playable on the PS4. All these games will be available from the first Tuesday of the month, that's October the 2nd, from around midday-ish. So if you're ready, let's do this. Over on the PS4 we have the flagship games for the month. First up is Friday the 13th The Game. I'm so delighted this one is here. This is an online focused asymmetric gore fest in which one player takes control of Jason and the other seven players as counsellors attempting to escape the location before he catches up with them and murders them all. It's one of my personal favourite games which is desperately in need of more players. Since the game released, single player offline modes have been added and the exemplary virtual cabin lets you become a super sleuth and unveil tons of easter eggs for horror fans. I have tons of content to get you ready for action and guides on how to be the best Jason you can and how to survive. I'll link them in just in case you're interested. Friday the 13th is currently waiting for a court case to clear before new content can be added but the game appearing on PS Plus is a great sign of things to come. The reviews are all over the place with 4 out of 10 from Polygon and up to 75 out of 100 from PC Gamer. I implore you, please give it a try. Next up is another multiplayer title, Laser League. This is either 2 on 2 or 3 versus 3 and asks players to eliminate the other team using laser fields. As your skill increases, timing becomes key to winning. You'll start by running around like a madman randomly placing laser beams, but in no time at all the strategic element takes over and it's like a chess match set in the movie Tron. Many critics absolutely love this giving it 9 out of 10, but from the user reviews on Metacritic, those views are not for all, scoring it 5.7 out of 10. Make of that what you will. Are you trying it? I'd love to know. We have a few extras to look at which are predominantly the same as last month, except for Dark Eclipse, which gives you a new Asuka skin and a new dynamic theme to download. Over on Fortnite, the third PS Plus pack is now available, with the PlayStation Sky Trails, a new glider and a pickaxe too. If you're a PS Plus sub and play Fortnite, it's definitely worth a download. Before we jump over to the PS3, let's quickly remind you that Knowledge is Power, the Play Link title, is still here for you to download. Moving on. On the PS3 we have The Bridge, which is also playable on the PS4 and your Vita. The Bridge is a two-dimensional logic puzzler, using physics and perspective to test your solving skills. If you've ever seen an Escher painting, you'll know what to expect as you rotate the sightlines to perfectly line up the solution. Nintendo Life gave this game 8 out of 10, and most other reviewers about 7 out of 10. The second PS3 title is Master Reboot. It's set in the memories of other people and is basically a first person exploration game which lasts around 3 hours. The puzzles are quite basic but the secrets and collectibles scattered through the world help build and piece together the story. The puzzles range from typical pattern understanding, music recreation and generic button pressing quests. I struggled to find review scores for Master Reboot but IGN gave it 6.2 out of 10 back in 2014. Over on the Vita we have two games that are playable on PS4. First is Rocket Bird 2 Evolution. This is an action shooter which is pretty damn fun. Watching a chicken blow chunks out of the enemy and rescue comrades is unexpectedly enjoyable. It's essentially a twin stick shooter which the Vita plays perfectly, but the Rocket Bird 2 visuals and loose story are also worth your playtime. And honestly, it leaves you with a smile on your face. And finally, Game 7 for the month is 2064 Read Only Memories. This is a story based game with retro graphics. A random robot shows up at your home and sets actions into motion which can't be stopped. Your journalistic skills kick in as you talk to countless NPCs about the events which I won't spoil now. Remember it's a visual novel so there's a great deal of reading to do, although there is quite a lot of voice acting here but you'll still need to pay attention to progress and understand. So there we have it, 7 games to play this month, pretty please download Friday the 13th. I'm dying to jump back in online and the game needs real people again. What are you grabbing anyway? Please let us know in the comments. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. It's been a pleasure. See you next time.